My baby looking too good, yeah she perfect, know she worth it When she pull up all them man, them flirting And yeah she know that she a dime, call up on my line Told her baby bring it one time Just sit down and relax Oh is that him? That's I'm listening to, okay. I didn't know That's it, that's <laughs> another one I knew him because he was in my face all the time Yes Then he started doing collabs with other artists He even performed at the <clears throat> BT Awards Yeah So I was like, oh, okay, like you've come out with Busta Rhymes I can't even Yeah You've gone off Yeah but nah, I don't Big know. Buster. Mm-hmm. Buster Boss. Yeah, it was good though. You should did you watch the BT Awards? Um, I just saw snippets. The snippets were calm as well. Yeah. It was good. I just feel like um Uh oh. <laughs> 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 I didn't I didn't even say anything. Shout out to Tyler Perry because he now owns BT. But I don't think he def- he didn't organise this one. He probably the next one is the one he's gonna organize. Don't say that. Let me, let me give him his flowers. Shout, yeah, but I'm saying I don't think he organized this this BT was that just went past. Because oh, I think them. he just got he he literally it was official official not long ago. So he probably didn't have ah, much to you, say. When they're doing it. doing up handovers. Yeah, I hear you. So I'm, it's like they probably were like, okay, cool. Well, let's just start our last project. You contr- yeah, do you know what I mean? And then now yeah. from the next project onwards, that's you. That's usually where it is. They're not going to like give it to you in the middle. Okay, you take control. Unless it's going down the hill. That's when they're like, hey, take it, take it, take it, take it. Before, before you rip them to pieces, let me give small, small flowers. No, I'm not trying to rip I feel like you're going to rip them. <laughs> I might join you still. But let me give small, small flowers. Because we're nice like that. Shout out to Tyler Perry, man. Mm-hmm. Not only mm-hmm. is he the new owner of BT, he is the owner of VH1. And I don't know about you. There was a time with reality TV, VH1 had us in a chokehold. Oh, uh, uh. Uh, they had a couple shows on there, mm-hmm, so I'm mm-hmm. very excited to see what Tyler Perry does for the future of BT and VH1. Yeah. Now, BT Awards 2015. <laughs> are we saying? <laughs> um, I don't know because I, I haven't watched it, so I can't really give like a like a full on mm. like <laughs> this girl, bro. But all I know is that I, from what I've heard, I'm going off base of what I've heard and the little things that I've seen. Yeah. Um, I hope when he takes control. Let's tidy up a bit, yeah? Now that he owns it, <laughs> let's tidy up a bit. Let's have, like, some order. Let's have some... Because, come on, my BT used to be, like, one of the most lit. Come on. Lit. Everyone was excited for And it. people are saying, oh, Beyonce didn't come. You think she's coming to this? She's never this coming. is a hood show, bro, at this point. It's a hood show. I'm here for people... What, you think BT was a hood show? I'm here for all of their, like... All these different like underground artists and coming up who are yeah. coming mainstream and going into that. I just feel like we need to have there needs to be certain standards and certain things to come in taking place. Man, you're talking in parables though. No, what I just feel mean? like there needs to be certain standards coming in because I just feel like we can't not everyone can't just be coming in rocking whatever, looking like whatever. Oh, dress no, code. Yeah, yeah, dress codes. I feel like ripped. fighting in the place. What are we doing, bro? Yeah, why am I hearing people are fighting? Like, do we need yeah, that? Needs unless to you keep it that in backstage, you know, when people used to fight back and then you hear about it, you, like, you never saw it, there was no footage, yeah. <laughs> people just heard about it. It's That's true. it, keep it backstage, keep, keep yeah. it backstage. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, even when it comes to the seating, I'm hearing some influencers are sitting in the in, around the same areas as artists. What nah, do you mean? You know what it is? Yeah, I think we shouldn't get gassed up with the the wave of the influencer clout. Yeah, like, it's nice. I know you're. It's dipping into different audiences, but keep the influencers in a section because in the inf- influence in section because influencers going on like they rock stars. You're not a rock star, fam. You're influencer. Like put them in that section. Same way you put the crowd in another section. Keep it everyone. Do you know what I mean? In the sections because the problem is when you start mixing and matching people everything. People forget who they are. Yeah. That's why you got a cameraman. The cameraman will zoom in on different people so you can produce this in the back. You'd be like, yeah, zooming into this influencer because they got 2.3 million followers. That's cute. Yeah. Not not everyone is Queen Nige. Yeah. Is it Nige or Nige? Nige, I think. Yeah. Queen Nige, yeah. Okay, she's an influencer that's now an artist. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. If you're still an influencer, keep it at, at row, row 20. Yeah, like... First, first 19 rows, artists. Because... Nominees. The thing is, you need those um, people who, like, are... At least B listers coming in. Oh, and so A listers. If you want them A-B. to be, yeah, showing up and really like doing it, you need you need to make sure that they know that. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm not sitting next to this girl that just does 
TikTok dances and you're telling me I'm next to her. It, like, does, it doesn't make sense. It looks weird. <laughs> that's, looks why I was, that's why I was happy for Tiana Taylor. Like, even though I still feel like she didn't get her due diligence in regards to the music she produces, now that she's gone into her directing bag mm-hmm. with the auntie's production, mm-hmm. she's now getting the girls and hip hop together, honey. Yep. Like, she's doing creative direction on stage. Yeah. I'm noticing that the girlies are getting backup dancers again. Yeah. And there's choreography and yeah. things are looking in sync. Yeah. When I found out Tiana Taylor's behind that, I said, thank God. Lola Brooks. I love that girl. Oh, yes. I fucking love that girl. And I saw her freestyle as well. You know, I see that the, the, the XX. Triple XL so, cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, yeah, I rate this still. She was talking some deep shit as well in yeah. it. I was like, nah, I really like that girl, man. She I like really like and I respect the fact she had dances and she was doing choreo. Tiana, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Tiana, that That's what I'm saying. I love it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it, man. And then there was Glorilla's performance. How was that? I didn't, I didn't. You know, in life, yeah. <laughs> in life, in yeah. Life, and I'll say this to Glorilla's face. In life, there are people who are just naturally sexy. Mm. There are people that are beautiful. There are people that are cute. And there are people that are just like, like cute stroke girl next door. Mm-hmm. When maybe it was the choreography, I don't know who's behind it on stage for her performance. A yeah. lot of people said that she was forced to do that. She shouldn't be forced to be sexy. She's a hood chick. Let her be a happy hood chick. Yeah. She must have come on saying, no one forced me to do it. I was happy to move in that way. The problem is, when you don't move well, people start to question it. Mm-hmm. So either you get trained up mm-hmm. on how to move sexy and, and movement. They have directors for movement specifically on video shoots. Yeah. Get someone to train you up or just, it's not your lane, babe. Because mm. when she did it, I felt uncomfortable looking at her. Okay. But I guess it's a trial and error, isn't it? On the big stage? It happens, isn't it? It happens to the best of us. But that's why I said this is why there needs to be levels. Needs to I'm be levels. Saying you shouldn't even have a slot to perform at. BT I'm not was... saying that. I'm just saying, like, uh, there needs to be levels. You're saying it's BT experience. It's so, like, outside. I need people need to fully, fully, like, they know what they're doing. But that's the problem is the labels ain't even training the artists anymore. Yeah, there's no that artists don't even anymore. help. Yeah, it doesn't even help anymore because they don't get trained. They don't get. That's why you only get a few people who are actually people are more than willing the first of all they're bigger than bigger than bigger outside of than outside of like the, the place where they're from yeah. and it's like people will pay bucks and they're proper fully like willing to do all that and they can go out there labels are willing to get them to become international because they know yeah. this person knows what they're doing but there's only a few of them because everyone else is being left the people that can know what they're doing are the older generation and uh, you guys are watching this episode yeah you haven't even subscribed it's quite rude very. Rude. I really thought we had a great relationship here, but it's seeming like it's a one-sided thing. And I hate a one-sided thing. Yeah, don't you? you know what I mean. Like, Ugh. come on now. You know what to do. You know what to do. Subscribe. Mm-hmm. Follow. Okay. Share. I'm right. Comment. All right. Don't play with me. Never doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the episode. <laughs> She won't fit when she pull up all the man them flirty. And yeah, she know that she a dime. Call up on my line. Told her baby, bring it one time. Yeah. Girl, sit down and relax. Girl, let me put it on you. No time for chit chat. Because she moved like a queen and I like what I see. And I-